All right, guys, let's take a look at some adding and subtracting mixed numbers, but with some word problems. And to help you out here, I added a list of addition and subtraction words to this post, so make sure you check that out. All right, here's our first problem. Felix bought four and three-eighths pounds of green grapes and one and one-eighth pound of red grapes. How much more did the green grapes weigh than the red grapes? So we know from all our practice with word problems, we've got to figure out what math words are here that are going to tell us if we're adding or subtracting. So we have to read it so carefully. Well, I see the words, how much more? And I know how much more is subtraction words. So if I have this many green grapes and this many red grapes, how much more green grapes... Did, how much more did they weigh than the red grapes? They want to get a subtraction of their weight. So I'm going to take the 4 and 3 eighths for the green grapes, and I'm going to subtract 1 and 1 eighth from the red grapes. So now we've got to remember from our practice this week, when we're adding and subtracting mixed numbers, we always start with that whole number. So we're simply going to do 4 minus 1 which is 3. And then our second step is the fractions. 3 eighths minus 1 eighth is 2 eighths. Not so bad. We just got to really read carefully and find those math words. All right, let's take a look at another example. Luther lives 8 and 9 tenths miles from the school. His classmate Barry lives 2 and 6 tenths miles from the school. How much farther from school does Luther live? Again, searching for those math words, I see how much farther. And I know kind of like how much more, how much faster. Those are all subtraction words. Subtraction words. So I've got Luther's 8 and 9 tenths miles from school and Barry 2 and 6 tenths miles from school. Luther lives farther away. How much farther? What's the difference? And difference is another subtraction word. So again, we're going to look at those mixed numbers. We're going to start with the whole number. So all we have to do is 8 minus 2, which is 6. And then we're going to go to our fractions. 9 tenths minus 6 tenths is 3 tenths. Okay, let's look at another one here. A chef ordered four and two six pounds of red onions and eight and one six pounds of yellow onions. How many pounds of onions did the chef order in all? Now we've heard this a bunch. We know in all, total, sum, they're all addition words. So in this case, we've got to add the pounds of red onions with how many pounds of yellow onions and get their total. So let's see, we've got four and two six red onions, and we've got eight and one six yellow onions, and we want to find their total or their sum. So starting with those whole numbers, four and eight is 12, and then going to those fractions, two six plus one six is three six. Here's another example, an athlete an athlete drank nine and four eighths bottles of sports drinks in the first half of a match, and another seven and three eighths bottles in the second half. How much did he drink in all? And there's my math words again. And in all is an addition. So let's take that nine and four eighths bottles of that sports drink in the first half and seven and three eighths from the second half. Let's put those together. Whole numbers first, nine and seven is 16. Fractions next. And four eighths and three eighths is seven eighths. Let's check out one example here. Mia's Road Paving Company mixed 13 and 2 twelfths ton of cement. They used eight and 1 twelfth of the cement to pave the street downtown. How much did they have left? And how, how much did they have left? 
is a subtraction word. I had this much. I used some. How much is left? We've got to find the difference. So here's my 13 and 2 twelfths, which is the total. They used up or took away, subtracted. 8 and 1 twelfth. And how much is left? We've got to subtract those two. So let's start with those whole numbers. 13 minus 8 is 5 whole. And then let's get those fractions. 2 twelfths minus 1 twelfth is 1 twelfth. Again, guys, if you get stuck, use that um, attachment I put on this post for our addition and subtraction math words. Um, I think you'll be okay today with this one. I think you'll do just fine. Good luck.